Today, since it's Little Big Planet's birthday, I'm going to show you how logic gates were used to make puzzles in Little Big Planet 1. I'll show some puzzles I've seen, how to make a simple puzzle using modern logic, and how logic gates were used in Little Big Planet 1. In this level, you have to open the present to continue the level. So you do this by solving a simple puzzle. You have to get all six chocolates in the right spot. And this is detected by using an AND gate. So once all six chocolates are in the spot, the present will open and you'll be allowed to use this vehicle that's in the present. In this level, you have to enter in a code that was given to you by a character in the level. Once you do that, the door that's blocking your path will open. And this is also done by using an AND gate. It detects when the right numbers are entered and that will allow the door to open. On the left is a little big planet one logic and on the right is a little big planet two logic. They look different but also have different names. In little big planet two, we have the tag, but in little big planet one, it was called a magnetic key. The tag sensor was called a magnetic key switch. The grab sensor was called the grab switch. The player sensor had the same name, but it looked different. And then none of this advanced logic existed. You had to make it yourself using pistons and magnetic key switches and dark matter, and it was sort of complicated. But before I show you how it works in Little Big Planet 1, I want to show you how it works in Little Big Planet 2. In Little Big Planet, you can use the AND gate to make puzzles like this. Here's a puzzle where you have to open the door to access the rest of the level. Little Big Planet 1 has some harder puzzles too, but here's a simple puzzle where all these sponges have to be in the right spot to make the door open. The levels I'll show you later explain the logic gates, but I'll explain them too in case you prefer my explanation. The OR gate makes it so any one of these sponges opens the door. It doesn't matter if it's the blue one or the red one. As long as there's a sponge in there, the door will still activate. And you could have more than one, and it will still activate. But the XOR gate works a bit differently. At least one sponge has to be in there, but only one. It will also deactivate the door, which means the door will be closed. So when you put another sponge in there, the XOR gate deactivates and the door closes. There's also a NOT gate. I'm not going to try to squeeze all this logic on the square, so I'm just going to use a microchip, which didn't exist in Little Big Planet 1. I'm going to replace this with the AND gate. So if you connect the AND gate to the NOT gate, it makes it do the opposite of what it did before. So before, all the sponges in the boxes opened the door, but now all of these close the door. Using a NOT gate is the same thing as inverting the AND gate. Inverting it makes it do the opposite of what it did before, like the NOT gate. So all of these sponges close the door. Inverting the OR gate also makes it do the opposite. You can invert the other logic gates, so I'm going to copy and paste this, and this is what it looks like inverted. Inverting it is like wiring it to a NOT gate, which makes it do the opposite of what it did before. In Little Big Planet 1 and the levels I'm about to show you, they use levers and a light but the light represents a door or really anything in your level. You can also use sensors instead of levers. The levers, in case you're unfamiliar with them, when it's to the left, it's off. When it's to the right, it's on. So just remember this because you'll see it in the level a lot. The second level will use a magnetic key switch instead of a light. This is on, and this is when the switch is off. So when it's on, it's lit up, and when it's not, it's not lit up. You won't be seeing the grab switch and the player sensors in the levels I'm about to show you, but you will be seeing the magnetic key and the magnetic key switch. Everything else will 
Well, that's why you need a full diaper. And you will, or just be a stranger. Here's the same puzzle, but with Little Big Planet 1 logic. The magnetic key switch is connected to the door. When I put the green one in there, that will cause the first person to extend, because that's what I had the tag sensor connected to. When I put the blue sponge in there, the second person will activate. The red sponge will cause the third person to extend, which opens the door with a magnetic key switch. And you could put it in there in any order. These are the settings for my pistons. So I just set it at 0.5 seconds so the logic doesn't break if it's going too fast. And then I set it at forwards backwards. So yeah, that's it. Some people combine these logic gates to make more complex stuff, but I just wanted to show y'all the basics. <laughs> 